know, we stand up in the big boy checks. Yeah. Offset's career is over, and here's why. The singer Offset is known for many reasons. He's the husband of Cardi B. The father of her child culture, and he's part of the Migos. And naturally, you know him as a rap singer. But that might not be for much longer. So join me as I reveal a few reasons why Offset may be quitting rapping forever. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to King Trending. Number five, love and marriage. In life, there are many things that can change your plans. And one of the biggest things is falling in love and getting married to someone. Because then it's not just your dreams that you have to think about, but theirs as well as any potential children you'll have together. It's no longer just about you anymore. And that's exactly what Offset is going through right now. If you somehow forgot from the opening monologue, Offset is currently married to rap singer Cardi B. And the two just had their first child a few months ago. Ironically enough, Cardi B is already on the concert tour again. In fact, she's doing a tour with Bruno Mars, and even she admits that doing this so soon after giving birth is a bit of whiplash. So that begs the question, if Cardi B is out doing this tour, who's taking care of the baby? There are just many answers to this, of course. She could have the baby with her, and has someone watching her child in her absence. This would make sense given Cardi B's more forward personality. However, if she's watching the baby now, there's a good chance that Offset might want to take the reins for a while and raise the child at their home to ensure that she's okay. And that's the thing that people sometimes forget, that these musicians do love their music, but they don't want it to be the only only thing that defines them. It's not the only thing that makes them whole. Relationships do that too. For Offset, he might realize that being a father to this child is what he wants to do for the foreseeable future. And there's really nothing wrong with that either. So a big reason why Offset might decide to end his rapping career, at least for the near future, is that he wants to take care of his kid. Which by extension allows Cardi B to continue her career in music. Oh, look. I don't dance now, I make money moves. Hey. Which is only rising up with every single song that she releases. In fact, it was noted that during an interview with Cardi B that she was scared when she got pregnant as she feared that this could be the end of her musical career, which honestly only took off recently. But Offset quelled those fears and encouraged her to push on forward no matter what. So he may be paving a path to her future of fame while he's primarily taking care of their child. It'd be a very noble way to end his career all while pushing his marriage and his child to the front of his life. Many men wouldn't be willing to make that sacrifice, but if Offset does, he's proven that he's more of a man than many other people who put their careers ahead of their families. Number four, normal life. Continuing on with the kid aspect, something that often happens with families who are famous is that the child is put into the spotlight by extension, between the paparazzi and the new salads, trying to get the next scoop on who's doing what next. It can be a lot for a young mind, not to mention if they're with their parents all the time and the parents are on the road during their career things, then they just won't know the simplicities of a normal life. As both Offset and Cardi B can attest to, normal life isn't something they just needed. It should be treasured. Both had rough upbringings and had to fight it to make it into the rap industry. Everything was all good, but it just got bigger than what it seemed because of who we are. I had to stay in there because... So they know the desire to have a normal life because they've technically never had it themselves. Given all that they've gone through, it makes sense that Offset and Cardi B would want somewhat of a normal life for their child. Obviously, their child will be better off than most, after all, Cardi B is worth $4 million and Offset is worth $3 million. So it's very likely that their child will want for nothing. But there's a difference between wanting for nothing and living a normal life. So Offset, stopping his career for the next few years, if not forever, would allow their child to have some stability and thus be able to feel like a regular kid and not just the kid of some famous singers. This would be another noble act. For now that Offset has had fame and made money, it may be more rewarding for him to ensure that his child has good life. Not just when they're an adult, but when they're young as well. And you have to admit, Supporting your child is a really class way of leaving your career, especially when it potentially plays off big in the long run, with them being happier than most other celebrity children. Number three, music life is stressful. Let's be honest here. When we dream of being a movie star, a singer, a writer, a musician, or anything on the upper echelon, we imagine the good parts. We imagine the red carpets, the mingling with celebrities, the making of money, the interviews, the concerts, and more things like that. But what we sometimes forget is that the business that we're a part of can also be the most stressful thing in our lives, bar none. Think about it from a musician's perspective. They have to break into the position they're in. That's tough and stressful enough. Then they have to go and get a record label to truly make money. And once they sign that contract, they're obligated to do certain things, including making certain amounts of songs, doing certain appearances, and many other things. Then 
then there's concerts, which are honestly one of the more stressful aspects. Where there's rehearsals, travel time, having to make sure your voice is ready for multiple nights of singing, remembering choreography, and so much more. Add to all of that, you'll be promoting yourself. You'll basically be exposing your whole life to the world and hoping that they like you. And many fans feel that they know every aspect of their favorite singer because of the fact that they see them all the time on social media. The fact of the matter is, it takes a lot to have a successful and long career in the music industry. And I'm sure that I've missed some things, so after the years of doing things like this, Offset might just think it's enough. He wouldn't be the first to think of this, and it certainly wouldn't be the last singer to do so. Offset might be totally fine with it. After all, his group Migos are hit singers. Somewhere secluded, still be playing with pots and pans, coming quite for They've had numerous big hits and albums, and that's gotten them fame and fortune. But in the end, is that enough? Maybe it isn't. Number two, accidents. There may be a more mental reason that Offset is going to be ending his career soon. And that may be because he was in an accident this year, a slightly bad one actually. It happened in Atlanta. Offset was driving his Dodge Challenger when he claimed the person ran into the road ahead of him. He had to swerve in order not to hit him, and thus he wrecked his car, damaging his hand in the process. A person named Jamar helped him out, and when the police arrived, he was taken to the hospital. Offset wasn't charged with anything, and it was clear that he didn't hurt anyone other than himself, so it appeared to truly be an accident. That being said, accidents have a way of messing with someone's mind. Granted, this took place in May, and he obviously didn't stop his career then, but it likely put things into perspective for him. After all, it was after the accident that his child with Cardi B was born, and if that accident had been worse, there's a chance he wouldn't have met his child, or have gotten the truly married Cardi B, so he would have messed out on a lot. Most accidents will leave you fearful of the road and what else could happen. Offset said that he almost hit a person who rushed out into the road, which means that anytime he sees someone in the street or nearby, he'll likely tense up. That kind of fear can change a person. Plus, there's the elephant in the room that we need to address. Why was Offset driving in Atlanta at 2.30 in the morning? Doc, say what's up to the people you live. What's up? Yeah. We've all heard stories of people like Offset who have money and fame and think they can do anything, rush out to do things at all the hours of the night, only to get themselves or someone else hurt. It could be his lifestyle that was putting him into that situation in the first place, but yeah, he didn't have any control over the other person, but he was still there to begin with. In all likelihood, Offset was going really fast down that road, not thinking anyone would even be on the road that he was on, so when he almost hit that person, it was likely a wake-up call. Now, yes, even if he did retire, he would still need to drive, and he'll need to take that in his own way. But being more responsible as he drives will cause him to be less stressful and less fearful of something unexpected happening. Another thing to factor in is that someone helped him during the wreck. So seeing that compassion at work may have inspired him to be better in his life. He was the only one that seen it, helped me get out of the car, helped me walk, get to where I had to get to. So. And that might lead him to being away from rapping. Number one, the end of Migos. Let me ask you a question. How many rap groups can you name right now that are prominent and successful? If you can't name that many, it's not like early on in rap history when groups like NWA, Public Enemy were tearing up the charts. Now, solo acts are much more prominent. Such collaborations happen all the time, but it's actually a little easier to get into the business on your own than teaming up with others. The only one big exception though is Migos, which is the group that Offset is in right now. They really broke into the industry in 2017, and in 2018, they cemented their legacy as a big rap group. And should they continue, they could easily do more. But that's the question. Will they continue? We've seen it a million times. A group comes together, sings their heart out, wows millions, makes millions and more, and then something happens to the group to split, usually leading to one of the groups seeking their own solo career. We saw with the Beatles, we saw with NSYC, and who's to say that the Migos won in the same way? Granted, it wouldn't be Offset who would seek the solo career, but one of the other members might. Call him daddy, the match was covered in money. Went to sleep with my jewelry and chains on. Working me. Work. She working me. Work. Urging me, uh, it be urging me. Another option is that Offset's desire to be with his wife and kid could trump the desire to be in the group, so they'll break it off. Another option is that Offset might be tired of the controversy that they're getting into because of their music, and he might not want to be associated with any kind of controversy as he's raising his child. No matter what way you look at it, Migos will eventually end. But the question really is, will it be sooner or later? So what did you think of my breakdown of why Offset is going to be ending his rapping career? Do you find these reasons compelling? Do you think that one or all of them is going to drive him to stop? Or do you think he'll just keep on going despite these things? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.
on King Trending. Hey, just a reminder that we're changing up the giveaways. From now on, we're offering the Galaxy Note 9, the one that comes with the exclusive Fortnite skin, the new iPhone X Max, which we'll pre-order for you, and the new Apple Watch Series 4, which we'll also pre-order for you. The winner gets to decide between these three. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, drop a like, and comment the hidden message in the video for a chance to win. You got nothing to lose. Go for it.